Namaskar and good morning, Honorable Chief Guest Dr. Bhagwat Karan, Honorable Minister of State for Finance, Government of India, our special invitees, senior officials, eminent jury members, distinguished dignitaries, awardees and delegates, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the 8th FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, the FIKI Higher Excellence, Higher Education Excellence Awards were instituted in the year 2014 to recognize and felicitate the achievements and excellent work done by the institutions and individuals who have set benchmarks of excellence and are doing inspirational and exemplary work in the higher education space. And now I have the privilege in inviting Mr. Arun Chabla, Director General FIKI, for the welcome address. Please Please put your hands together to welcome him. Dr. Bhagwat Karad, Minister of State for Finance, Government of India, dignitaries in the conference, distinguished jury members, captains of the industry, awards nominees, participants, members of media, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolute privilege and pleasure to witness such an enthusiastic participation of distinguished stakeholders at FIKI's Higher Education Excellence Awards. I welcome you all to the eighth edition of the awards. Many congratulations to all the nominees of the awards in different categories. A very warm welcome to Dr. Bhagwat Karad, Honorable Minister of State for Finance, Government of India. Honorable Minister, thank you very much for sparing your valuable time to be with us at this event. Ladies and gentlemen, these awards were conceptualized in 2014 to recognize, encourage, and inculcate a spirit of competitiveness among institutions and individuals who have been doing inspirational and exemplary work in the higher education sector. Over the last few years, these awards have emerged as one of the most coveted and credible in the industry. FIKI's stringent and transparent evaluation process led by an independent high-level judiciary jury, I must say, at the helm ensures only institutions with path-breaking innovations emerge as winners. And I express my gratitude to the eminent jury panel led by Dr. R. A. Mashelkar, Indian National Research Professor and Chancellor, ICT Mumbai, who leveraged their tremendous knowledge and experience and devoted considerable time in selecting the winners of various categories. Ladies and gentlemen, in the globalized world of today, it has been proven that education is a leading determinant of economic growth. Higher education specifically has the potential to promote faster technological catch-up and improve a country's ability to maximize its economic output. India is witnessing a rapid transformation in the higher education landscape. The future of education could be an amalgamation of transformations driven by Education 4.0, NEP 2020, emerging student needs and new technologies. This calls for a need to redefine and reinvent higher education. 
I feel so happy that through these awards, FICI is making efforts aligned with the government's initiative to improve the country's homegrown institutions and project them as global higher education institutions. In its eighth year, FICI Higher Education Awards have received an overwhelming response and witnessed active participation from both public and private sector universities and higher educational institutions. It indeed indicates the growing intent to transform Indian higher education system. We hope that with your support and continuous engagement will help us make these awards bigger and better in the years to come. I once again congratulate all the finalists and hope that the case studies will serve as an inspiration to the players in the industry to strive for excellence. Thank you and wish you a enjoyable and inspiring evening. Thank you. Indeed, sir, for those warm words of welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, sharing of good practices through the platform of FICI Higher Education Excellence Awards will surely help to raise the status of learning and teaching in India higher education sector. And today, the presence of the Honorable Minister is a source of inspiration for all of us. May I now request the Honorable Minister to kindly grace the stage with his presence. As I request Mr. Arun Chavla, DG Fiki, to kindly welcome and honor the Honorable Minister with a green certificate. So the green certificate is a Fiki initiative wherein a thicket of 10 trees will be planted in the Sundarbans National Park, West Bengal, in the name of the Honorable Minister. And we thank you, sir, for sparing your valuable time in gracing this occasion. And ladies and gentlemen, I now have the proud privilege in inviting the Honorable Minister of State for Finance, Dr. Bhagat Kharadji, to kindly address the August House present here. Let's once again put our hands together to welcome. On the occasion of 8th Higher Education Excellence Award, Mr. Arun Chawla, Director General Fiki, Dr. Vidya Erwadkar, Chair Fiki Higher Education Committee and Pro Chancellor of Symbiosis International University, Mr. Ravi Panna Chandan, Co-Chair, Fikki Higher Education Committee, Dr. Rajan Saxena, Advisor, Fikki Higher Education, Mr. Ayush Gupta, Director, HR, Gail India, Mr. Dr. Mahesh Verma, Vice Chancellor, Indra Prasad University, Mr. Manab Mujumdar, Distinguished jury, jury members, nominees of the awards, Higher Education Committee members, jury members, speakers, delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It is my privilege to attend this function. I am attending number of functions, but this function is a totally different function. It was told that the, all the educationalists from the country are gathered here, chancellor, vice chancellor and different dignitaries from the head of the universities and different educationalists are here. First of all, I congratulate the FICI organization arranging such functions since 2014. The FICI is an old organization started with the guidance of Honorable our Rashtrapita Mahatma Gandhi. And since then, it's working in different sectors to develop different sectors of the country. And this function is particularly for higher education and it's an important thing. As you know, the any develop or developing country depends upon 
the how much education is there in their country and education is base of everything we always say economy is a base no doubt i am a finance test minister i am i am dealing with the different economical economy of the country but to develop the economy we need education also and education particularly which i am dealing is a i am saying this a financial education is also important financial literacy is also important similarly here you all are gathered here from different education field maybe engineering maybe medical maybe business and all all the categories we can say so it is very important that all you have gathered and the fik is organizing such a nice function i it was told that the fik management our director and his team select different institutions who are doing well all over the country at the same time they select individuals also who are doing best in the country the juries are doing a very important work so i congratulate jury also for selecting a good institutions as well as a good personalities from uh, our different parts of our country as we know the technology is a very important to develop any 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 part or any section of the country and there are now recent technology and in the recent technology also we have to adapt the technology uh, similarly just i want to tell you about the education the moral education and ethical education is also important so some institutions must be taking care of the moral education ethical education and spirit of helping to the people and discipline so these are the important some things just i want to underline at the same time there is a lot of competitions in the education and this is a, in the competition world we have to see that different methods which are used for the education particularly nowadays we are using the digital education also the digital education is a very important step in our developing the country our country is the largest population having largest population with engaged uh, population so this engaged population must have a good education so if the people are educated then and then the country can uh, develop just i want to give my example i am coming from very rural area where uh, there were no roads no lights also but i have educated i have become a doctor i started my practice in town then i have become a politician and now i am in front of you suppose i would have not taken education then i would have become a farmer so education can take to the top to you and education with technology sincerity hard work and discipline will lead you you everybody to the top on this uh, occasion i said i will say that there are different opportunities to develop individuals and to develop uh, in uh, institutions also for this we have to we have to see what is happening in all over the country what is happening globally and at present as i said our country is a largest population our country is a developing very fast and our economy i want to tell you as i am a finance test minister our economy is a fifth largest economy all over the world and this is because there is a lot of efforts everybody is taking and not taking but after covid 19 the different schemes were announced by honorable prime minister narendra modi ji and that schemes which are help to the population just i want to mention i am from the finance um, department i want to say you tell you that after 2014 when the banking accounts were seen there were num only 15 to 16 crore accounts were there but with the starting of the prime minister janthan yojana 
that is for the poor people the bank accounts have open up to 47 crore people are in the jandan yojana and not only that if you remember the earlier days before 2014 there was not a scheme. Suppose one rupees was sent from the center and only 15 paisa uses to go to the that beneficiary person. But nowadays with the technique or technology, just I want to tell you that how the technology is important. Our technology, our our government that have started JAM Trinity. J stands for Jandan account, A stands for Aadhaar card and M starts for the mobile so these three are linked jam and because of the linking of this jam the suppose honorable prime ministers from delhi gives suppose 100 rupees that 100 rupees goes to the beneficiaries account and not only that that concerned person will get sms also this why this is happened this is because of the technology why this is happened? Because this is a having knowledge taken by the different communities, different countries. So this is a, I congratulate the Fiki for organizing such a nice function. And at the same time, just uh, I want to uh, tell here that there are different digital educations, digital schools, digital all the digital technologies nowadays we are uting all over the country and I think the India is not behind but India technology is also improving and just that is not in the town but even in the rural area also the technology and digitalization is improving. On this occasion I will not take more time but I congratulate all the jury who have taken a lot of efforts to select different institutions, different personalities who are having the topmost um, merit. At the same time, I, I, thank, I congratulate FIKI members for organizing. They are organizing, of course, every year. But this is a more gathering. It was told that around 1,000 different um, institutional persons and uh, educationalists were here. So I congratulate all. And on my behalf, I give him best wishes for further function also. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we all have been looking forward to, the award presentation ceremony. And may I once again request Mr. Arun Chavla, DG Fiki, to join the Honorable Minister on the stage to present the awards. And I would request the Honorable Chief Guest, the Honorable Minister, to kindly do the honors of giving away the awards. So ladies and gentlemen, the first category of the eight FIKI Higher Education Excellence Awards 2022 is Excellence in Faculty Development. And let's have a look at the nominees. We are here to facilitate the prestigious individuals and higher education institutions who have made a remarkable contribution to the higher education sector over the years and are changing lives with their outstanding and innovative work. Nominations in the category of excellence in faculty development are Pearl Academy, Symbiosis International University, KI80 Group of Institutions. And congratulations to all the nominees as I request Honorable Chief Guest to announce the winner of the category Excellence in Faculty Development. Can we present a microphone? Uh, so we just. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Symbiosis International University. Congratulations to them. The vision is international understanding, uh, promoting international understanding through quality education. I we think uh, uh, Symbiosis uh, International University is from Pune and uh, it is my state. So I congratulate 
pro vice chancellor of symbiosis international university chancellor and everybody to come on the stage let's put our hands together for them ladies and gentlemen development to contribute to knowledge generation and dissemination promote ethical value based learning inculcate cross cultural sensitization and promote health awareness among students staff and the community we have been using disruptive technology across being blended learning innovative online tools ladies and gentlemen once again let's put our hands together for the symbiosis international university for winning this prestigious award of the 8th figi higher educational excellence awards in the category of excellence in faculty development we move on to the next category of awards which is excellence in globalization of education and the nominees for this category are the category of excellence in globalization of education are sharda university marwari university university of petroleum and energy studies hindustan institute of technology and science and ladies and gentlemen the honorable minister to announce the winner of this category and the award goes to winner is sharda university let's put our hands together for sharda university the vision of sharda university is internationalization okay many sharda many sharda university is from up research as well in innovation in teaching back in 2017 the association of indian universities ranked us uh, number one number one a uh, private university in india and number six overall in terms of international students ladies and gentlemen once again put your hands together for sharda university for the award in the category of excellence in globalization of education congratulations to them we now move on to the next category of awards the next category is for excellence in enabling research ecosystem and the nominees for this category are nominations in the category of excellence in enabling research ecosystem are shiv nada university Vishwakarma Institute of Technology Pune Arupanai Vidu Institute of Technology Chennai Indian Institute of Technology Roorkee And the winner of this category is Winner is Vishwakarma Institute of Technology Pune And once again the award goes to Pune Vishwakarma Institute of Technology Our institute's vision and mission is a uh, vision is to globally acclaimed institute in the field of technical education and research for holistic socio economic development and this vision we accomplished with the help of four pillars which forms our mission statement which is 100% empowerment of the students to strengthen the academic practices promote research culture and to make the students socially responsible and ladies and gentlemen once again put your hands together for vishwakarma institute of technology pune for the award in excellence in enabling research ecosystem moving on to the next category which is for excellence in creating employment opportunities let's have a look at the nominees nominations in the category of excellence in creating employment opportunities are indira gandhi delhi technical university for women valor institute of technology cv raman global university odisha in the trust institute of information technology delhi and the winner for this category is winner is indira gandhi delhi technical university for women let's put our hands together for indira gandhi delhi technical university for women 
the winner of excellence in creating employment opportunities. Placements, the highest placement which has been offered uh, in the last year was 1.2 crores per annum and then we have a community outreach program. It is very important today that we strengthen our students with the societal concerns. Every year a student has to go for the internships which has come a long way to fetch a bigger and better placement. So ladies and gentlemen once again put your hands together for the winners of excellence in creating employment opportunities the Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women and ladies and gentlemen under this category we also have a special jury recognition which is presented to CV Raman Global University Odisha let's put our hands together for them Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the applause going for the special jury recognition under the category of excellence in creating employment Global opportunities. Global Institute Orissa. Congratulations. And we now move on to the next category of awards, which is for the excellence in institutional social responsibility. And let's have a look at the nominees under this category. Nominations in the category of excellence in institutional social responsibility are Shri Shri University, Arupadai Vedu Institute of Technology, Chennai, Bellore Institute of Technology, VIT, Hans Raj Mahila Mahavidyale, Jalandhar. And the winner of this category is. Winner is. Vellore Institute of Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put your hands together for Vellore Institute of Technology, VIT. Our vision is uh, transforming the life through research in the education and excellence. The ISR initiatives are 1005. The different, we have the 132 student chapter clubs. Uh, we have the NSS, NCC. Through that, we are conducting continuously a lot of uh, different. We are working on the SDG goals. Specifically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13, 15 is our main aim for this two. The 2E, environment. And ladies and gentlemen, well once again, congratulations to VIT for winning the award for excellence in institutional social responsibility. And we also have under this category a special jury recognition award. May we have the name of the winner, sir? Special Jury Recognition, Hansraj Mahila Mahavidyalai Jalandhar. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Hansraj Mahila Mahavidyalai Jalandhar for winning the Special Jury Award, Special Jury Recognition Award under the category Excellence in Institutional Social Responsibility. Please keep the applause going for them. And we now move on. We now move on to the next category of awards, which is excellence in professional course offering. And ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for this category are nominations in the category of excellence in professional course offering are Indian Institute of Teacher Education, Gandhinagar. Whistling Woods International, Tiaga Raja College of Engineering. And the winner for this category is? Winner is Indian Institute of Teacher Education, Gandhinagar. So let's put our hands together for the Indian Institute of Teacher Education, Gandhinagar. First of all, a curriculum document was created which not only stressed on the vision of NEP 2020 but also implemented it right from the July 2020. It had a huge impact on the stakeholders with reference to uh, the student, the uh, 
community indian institute of teacher education in a short period of 10 years we have come a long way got a 12b status recently got our nat b plus within the 10 years Congratulations to Indian Institute of Teacher Education Gandhinagar for the award in excellence in professional course offering. And ladies and gentlemen, we move on to the next category which is University of the Year in existence for 0 to 10 years. But as for the jury, none of the applicants qualified for the award. So we move on to the next category which is the University of the Year in existence for 11 to 30 years and let's have a look at the nominees for this category. Nominations in the category of University of the Year in existence for 10 to 30 years are Manipal University, Jaipur, Indraprastha Institute of Information Technology, Delhi, Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar Open University, Central University of Haryana. And the winners are. Winner is IIT Delhi. The Indraprastha Institute of Information Technology, Delhi, Triple IIT Delhi. Congratulations for winning the University of the Year award in existence for 11 to 30 years. Teaching Institute. We have six departments offering unique interdisciplinary programs, which till now in India are not being offered by any other institute. Our curriculum is completely industry and research focused, and the way in which we design our curriculum, we always invite both academic experts as well as industry experts any time we are creating. Once again, congratulations to Triple IIT Delhi for winning this coveted award, the University of the Year in existence for 11 to 30 years. Moving on to the next category, which is the University of the Year in existence for more than 30 years, and the nominees for this category are. Nominations in the category of University of the Year in existence for more than 30 years are Banasthali Vidyapeet, Mahatma Gandhi University, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University. And the winner is Winner is Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Please put your hands together for Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. Students were encouraged to go for entrepreneurship. This is the highlight of the university. These days, we are giving much importance to make the students entrepreneurs, and agripreneurs, and sustainable agripreneurs. That's our primary aim. Exclusive or unique platform through which we address the needs of the farming community of the whole state. And here, what we do is we give farm advisories through WhatsApp, YouTube, and we have got our own channels, and we have got exclusive TNU Agri Tech portal. Once again, we congratulate Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. University for winning the award for the category of University of the Year in existence for more than 30 years. Congratulations to them and ladies and gentlemen in this category we also have a special jury recognition award may we have the name of the winner sir Special Jury Recognition Award Banasthali Vidyapeet Please put your hands together for Banasthali Vidyapeet for the special jury recognition award under the category of the University of the Year in existence for more than 30 years Ladies and gentlemen please keep the applause going for them Recognition award This is the university in existence for more than 30 years and they won the award for the university of the year. Congratulations once again Banasthali Vidyapeet and with that we move on to the next category which is personality of the year award and the winner of the award is the personality of the year award winner is mr mayank kumar ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for mr mayank kumar
He is the winner of the Personality of the Year Award. Personality of the Year, Mr. Mayank Kumar. Mr. Mayank Kumar is the co-founder and MD of Upgrad. His efforts were instrumental in making Upgrad's India business model deliver high impact results, which has helped the brand rank 43rd under the FT Asia Pacific High Growth Companies 2021 list in paid partnership with Nikki Asia and Statista. Mayank has and may I request you, sir, a few words of acceptance? First of all, uh, it's a complete honor uh, for me to be here uh, accepting this award today. Uh, I just want to sir, tell you one small thing that when I started Upgrad, uh, I visited one of the universities in, uh, in north of India and uh, it just felt little, I mean I felt that the, this is the quality of education that's happening in the ecosystem, it, it pained me. And uh, I just could not do anything about it. And I'm a product of a highly subsidized government education. Uh, government has paid for my pretty much the entire education from being Kendra Vidyalaya to IIT. And uh, at the heart of heart, I always felt that if I'm not doing something about it, I cannot be complaining about education system. And that's where the journey of Upgrad started. And step by step, we are trying to do our own inputs. Uh, it's my complete honor and uh, pleasure and privilege to receive this award on behalf of all the technology entrepreneurs and the large Upgrad team that we have built over a period of time. Thank you very much, really appreciate it. Thank you and congratulations and ladies and gentlemen, let's once again put our hands together for Personality of the Year, Mr. Mayank Kumar. And now, the announcement of the Lifetime Achievement Award and the Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to... Lifetime Achar uh, Award presented to Mr. Rajendra Singh Pawar. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Rajendra Singh Pawar. He could not be present here today. His representative, Mr. Prateek Chatterjee, will receive the award on his behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the applause going for the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is presented to Mr. Rajendra Singh Pawar. And let's hear it loudly for Mr. Rajendra Singh Pawar, though he is not present here. Receiving the award on his behalf is Mr. Prateek Chatterjee, his representative. Congratulations and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we thank our Honourable Chief Guest, the Honourable Minister, for kindly doing the honours. If I may request you, sir, to kindly take your seat in the front while we play a short video by Mr. Rajinder Singh Pawar. So if you could kindly take your seat in the front. Mr. Chavla, if you could escort our Honourable Chief Guest to be seated in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the Honourable Minister for kindly giving away the awards. And we now present you... I feel deeply honoured to receive the FIKI Lifetime Achievement Award. In recognising me, FIKI is recognising the great contribution of thousands of my colleagues and IITs across the world. Our 40 year journey started with a very simple mission of bringing people and computers together. And over the decades has evolved into a broader theme which is helping people to realize their true potential. In this journey, I've been fortunate to get many people to join us, people who shared the purpose and people who had the passion to do what it takes to help people transform themselves. We all share this common belief that science has a big role to play in learning and that technology is a very big and powerful tool to make learning effective. And we have continued to pioneer in both these areas. If you look at these four decades, NIT Limited, during this period we've been fortunate to cover more than 30 countries and impact over 30 million learners. In 2004, we started the NIT Foundation, which is trying to reach the unreached. That's people who can't afford to even pay. People 
out of school and out of education and help them get on and get started with their first job in their lives. And in 2009, we set up the not-for-profit NIT University, which for us is the fountainhead of new knowledge, of new science and new technology, not just in learning, but in all spheres of education. We are fortunate that we ushered in the new millennium and particularly the new century which I call the century of the mind which is all to do with knowledge and as the world's oldest civilization which knows the most about the mind, India is very well positioned and we see this as a great period of opportunity for us, for each one of us and for the mind. And I am very grateful that Vicky has recognized the effort so far and I just want to promise you that there is much more to come. As I close, I'd like to take the opportunity to dedicate this recognition to the one person who has made foundational contributions to me personally. With unconditional dedication, my soulmate and life partner, Nithi Pawar, has carried all responsibilities of the home, of the extended family, of socialization with friends, leadership team. She's carried all of that. She's been my advisor and biggest critic in all new matters, in matters of mind and the heart. And in doing so, she's helped me to realize my true potential to contribute the way NIT has been able to contribute. And by helping me realize my potential, I have worked on helping my colleagues realize their potential and they in turn have been busy all these four decades helping people, our learners, to realize their potential. Thank you, Fiki, for this recognition and I will convey this to all my colleagues. Thank you, sir, and we once again congratulate Mr. Rajendra Singh Pawar for the Lifetime Achievement Award. And now for the words of thanks, may I invite Mr. Manav Majumdar, Deputy Secretary General Fiki. Let's put our hands together to welcome him. Good evening. Namaskar. Honorable Minister, Distinguished Office Bearers of FIKI Higher Education Committee, FIKI Director General Arun Chawla, esteemed speakers and experts, delegates, our partners, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be with you all for this wonderful program this evening. I don't have to emphasize and highlight to this august and distinguished gathering that excellence is the guiding spirit and driving force for any sector, domain, services and what not. Therefore, it is just obvious that excellence is an indispensable element in the area of higher education. It is just axiomatically true. We at FIKI are fully committed to excellence and we are honored to have this edition of Higher Education Excellence Awards 2022. Honorable Minister Sir, we are most thankful to you for your gracious presence and inspiring address. I am sure all would agree with me that we have immensely benefited from your insightful remarks. Our thanks are due to the panel of eminent jury members. They have done a splendid job. Thank you so much. We appreciate. I take this opportunity to thank our partners and also our knowledge partner ENY for their contribution to the awards process. Of course, heartiest congratulations 
to the award winners as well as all the nominees. Last but not the least, our sincere most thanks to all the delegates both from overseas, I know many of them have traveled a long way. Thank you so much our overseas delegates and also the delegates who have come from various parts of the country. Thank you for your kind attention. Jai Hind. Thank you very much indeed, sir, for those words of thanks. And I would once again request Honorable Minister to join us on the stage for a group photograph, first with all the eminent dignitaries seated in the front row. Mr. Arun Chavla, Dr. Vidya, Mr. Representative, jury members to kindly, all the jury members to kindly join for the group photograph. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to acknowledge all the effort that has been done by our eminent jury. It is not an easy task to select awardees. Thank you very much indeed. And may I now invite all the distinguished awardees to join the Honorable Minister on the stage for a group photograph. You may kindly carry your trophies with you. Award. Of the eight Fiki Higher Education Excellence Awards 2022. And we now close the proceedings of the award presentation ceremony, inviting all of you to join us for dinner. And tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, the registration begins at 9.30 a.m. and the first session will commence at 10.30 a.m. We would request all of you to be in time for the registration and our first panel discussion session. Thank you for being here with us, for joining us. Once again, congratulations to all the distinguished awardees. And I once again take this opportunity to thank the Honorable Minister for gracing this occasion, kindly giving away the awards and sparing his valuable time for being here with us. And ladies and gentlemen, please join us for dinner. Have a wonderful evening ahead. Safe drive home. Good night and Namaskar.